Now look at this. What's the bad penny one's going to do? Uh, FRQ 2023, number five. If you're looking for more information on any of these questions, just go to AP Central and all the questions are posted for you. So Barde is asking us to describe how a scientist would use comparison of DNA sequences to suggest the most likely evolutionary relationship between organisms. Um, and so we know that um, if you have more recent common ancestry, you're going to have less differences in the DNA. And so looking at the nucleotide differences is going to allow them to determine which organisms are most closely related. So I'm just going to simplify and just use the first letter in each of these names just to make life easier. Um, so the question is asking us why the B is more closely related to the M than it is related to the G. Um, and so if you look at the second diagram, the second diagram is based on molecular evidence. And so we just talked about a second ago that because of the fact that the B and the M are more closely related, they're going to have least differences between them. Versus if you're looking at A, that has to do with like um, morphological differences. Um, and so, yeah, I agree that B and G are close together because they must share some type of trait um, that's similar. And that could be due to conversion evolution. So if they had a similar environment, they could have a similar adaptation for that environment, which could lead to a similar structure. It's called an analogous structure, not a homologous structure. So there's a table given to us and it shows us these different characteristics and there's X's to show which ones have which characteristic. Um, and so it's characteristic one is found by in B and A. Um, and so the question's asking us using the template, which was just like this diagram, um, represent the points in which characteristic one evolved by marking an, a, on the, an X on it. Okay, so since B and A both have that trait, we know it must be on that branch going toward that lineage. So part D is asking to explain why characteristics that are found in both C and B are more likely due to convergent evolution than common ancestry. And so if you look up here, at no point is B and C anywhere close to each other. So there's no molecular evidence. There's no morphological evidence. It just seems that they seem to have a similar characteristic that's only found in those, um, which means that they have evolved independently of each other. Um, and so since there's no molecular evidence, it kind of makes me think that um, they don't have a common ancestor. And so that's due to convergent evolution. Similar environment leads to a similar adaptation without common descent. Remember, API Pans just says, bye y'all.